Hello guys, this is Navin Reddy. So in, in the last three tutorials, we talked we talked about uh, threads, how to use lambda expression with thread. Now in this, we'll try to make our code look more beautiful. It's because the main the main reason why we have this lambda here is just to make your code more beautiful, uh, more readable, or less code. Okay. So what we'll do now? Now if we focus here, the sole purpose of this T reference here is to call start right that means we are using this t only once so what we can do instead of using named reference we can directly say we can directly say it's the object dot start because when, whenever you use an object only for once you can do try to create a reference you can directly use anonymous object so you can say we have removed that t also we, so we have to reduce one more line now what next we can apply the same funda on this uh, class A. So instead of using a class A and start, instead of creating a class here, what we'll do, we'll, we'll fetch this code, this important code upside, okay? So again, after after doing some manipulation, the, ultimately, the ultimate code I'll be getting is this. It should be something in this way. Okay. So basically, it will be the copy of this. So I will say let me copy this and paste. Now if you create these two copies, one will be hello and second will be hi. So one will print hello, second will print hi. And again, uh, you can have hello, hi and you can have hi, hello. What I want, there, there's there, yeah, what I want now. Even if I run this code now, let me uh, sh show you the output. It will still work and the output is is this hello hi hi hello hi hello hi hello so you can see it's working in parallel but the problem is both these threads are starting at the same time what if we can just provide a delay there so we can just uh, we can just use this uh, line which is this one so that we can pro just provide a delay between two threads and instead of going with this one second delay, we can have 200 milliseconds delay. And yes, now now we have we can we can run this code uh, parallelly. So you can see hello hi hello hi hello hi, and you have all those streams, right? That means we are able to run the code parallelly. Now let's try to reduce the code a bit. Now what if if I go here and instead of uh, writing this code inside your thread see if you compare both the code they look quite similar right it's quite similar now uh, what i can do is i can just define a method here and the method name will be public void show okay and this show will take a string parameter maybe string str and it will print this text here so instead of writing code here let me write the code here and instead of printing hi let me print the value of str so this str will be printed here cool and here we can call we can call this show getting an error okay. now here we can call this show now how to call show here it's very simple just simply say new the class name is multi threading is because to, to call this method we have to use uh, we have to use an object of that class and then we can say show and we can pass here we can pass hello I mean we can print a uh, hi hello in any format and we have any problem here no okay and then okay there is some problem I guess okay. and the same thing we'll do here we'll say new it's multi thread dot show and we'll say it's high and we'll give a semicolon here yeah okay now let me run this code hi hello hi hello 
There was some problem here. Did I missing something here? No. Okay. And here I call it as high. Still there's an error. And now is the problem. It's it's not been issue. Anyway. Uh let me run this code again. You can see we are trying to achieve your parallelism but still there is an error. Everything look good. I guess there is some bug in NetBeans. That's the issue whenever you work with this new softwares. And let me just find out the bug if you have any. I've said true. I've said everything. Okay, let me just uh, reduce the code a bit more. I hope I will get so some sort of illegal start of expression. Does it have extra bracket? Do I have extra bracket? Yes. I have an extra bracket here, so this is my main. Open, close, open, close, open, close. It's open close. Everything look perfect. Right. Okay. Uh, uh oh, I'm writing this code inside main. What I'm doing. It happens, you know, when you when you make your code more beautiful, they might it might generate some error. Okay. That's the funny part. Anyway, so I have to, uh, I I was writing my uh, void show function inside main. That was the problem. Okay, now uh, if you can see if I run this code, it's hi hello hi hello hi hello hi hello right. So we are trying to reduce the code as much as we can. Now if you see whenever you work with lambda expression, you just don't require this curly braces because you have only one statement right. So what we can do, we can just get rid of this uh, curly brackets and we can say arrow, and we can directly write this statement here. And when you have only one statement, no need of this semicolon and no need of this bracket, we can directly end our statement upside. Okay, so done. And we can use the same code. Copy. We can have the same code here. So uh, instead of hello, we can say, we can instead of I, we can say hello. Now you can see we have reduced our code so much. You can compare the first example and this example. The, the number of lines have rec uh, reduced the code look more beautiful it's more readable we are we are focusing more on implementation more on uh, what it does than how it does right so that's the importance of lambda expression and that's the importance of java 8 feature so if you run this code again you will see hi hello hi hello hi hello right and that's multi-threading with lambda expression so i hope you got what i meant to convey now, uh, if you have any doubts, please comment and do subscribe for the further videos. Thank you so much.